Hello there, it's Samantha. Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, hi, hello. As I just said, my name is Samantha, and this is my channel where I talk all about books, and that's basically everything you need to know. So, let's get on with the video. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you my March wrap-up, so all of the books that I read in March. Obviously, March was a very weird month, I think, for the whole world, with obviously the global pandemic. I started off the month in Mexico, where I was supposed to be until June, and halfway through the month, I was back in England, where I don't want to be. It makes sense, logically, to be here rather than in Mexico, where I could end up being stuck there and not being able to return home. So it makes the most sense to be here during this time. I hope that you guys are all doing well if you're in quarantine or whatever is going on. I hope that you're all doing well. And yeah, we're all gonna have to get through this tough time, but I know we can do it. Also, we've got books to help us, so perfect. But obviously, with it being such a weird month, I only managed to read two books. And honestly, the first book that I read, I really don't even remember that much about it because it was such a weird time. But I'm gonna try and talk about it as best as I can. But I will just direct you over to my Goodreads review for it because that is gonna be better than what I can remember. Anyway, with that being said, the first book that I finished in the month was All Fall Down, by Ali Carter. This is a book that I received from NetGalley in exchange for an honest review many years ago, I think in 2015. This book is basically about our main character called Grace, and she starts off the book moving back into the American embassy in I don't even know where, but basically there's just this place with a lot of embassies, and yeah, she moves back into the American embassy where her grandfather is the ambassador if that's the right term. But yeah, she moves back in there and then she starts causing lots of trouble because she is convinced that her mother was murdered instead of what everyone tells her, which is that she was killed in a fire. So she is absolutely certain that her mother was murdered and then she sees someone who matches the description that she remembers. And then it just gets really weird from there. Honestly, this book was super weird and I'm surprised I gave it a three. I think actually thinking back to it, I would more give this book a 2.5 out of 5 stars. And basically the reason why I didn't like it very much was because essentially, I'm not sure if this was just because it was an advanced reader's copy or if this was something that was also in the finished copy, but my copy did not have chapters. It was all just continuous. So I don't know if that was on purpose or if it was just not formatted because it was an arc. I'm not sure. I guess it could kind of make sense because she's kind of like an unreliable narrator so it makes sense that maybe the story is a bit jumbled and all over the place. But with that being said, the story was jumbled and all over the place so it was kind of hard to follow in a way. I don't know. It was just a weird one for me. I did really enjoy the side characters. We had three side characters who I really enjoyed who were Noah, Rosie, and Megan. Honestly, if I had a story about them, I would have much preferred it. Like if we just cut Grace out, <laughs> even though she was really important to the story, obviously, I would have preferred a lot more. The writing was just really weird for me because of this lack of formatting. And yeah, it was just kind of, it was just a weird read for me. And obviously, as I said, I read this at a really weird time. So yeah, I gave it three stars on Goodreads, but I would probably say it's more like a 2.5 because thinking back to it, I'm like, I'm actually pretty confused. So yeah, I would give it a 2.5 out of five stars. The second and final book that I finished in the month was The Dark Days Club by Alison Goodman. This is a historical urban fantasy book set in the 1800s and it follows our main character, Lady Helen. Her main concern is basically finding a husband and making sure that she can kind of distance herself from the bad reputation that her mother had because basically everyone thinks that her mom was a traitor. She's always been a bit more outspoken than women were supposed to be at this time. So she's, you know, trying to find a husband who will deal with that. During her time of going to balls and meeting men, she meets Lord Carlston who tells her that she's not normal. She's what is called a reclaimer who basically are people who hunt deceivers, which is the word that they use for these demon-like creatures who basically inhabit the bodies of people. Lady Helen finds out that she's a reclaimer and a lot of this book is her deciding whether or not she wants to become a reclaimer or not because obviously she was born one but she doesn't have to become part of the Dark Days Club which is the name that they have for reclaimers and the people who help in the reclaiming situation. So she has to decide whether or not she wants to be a part of this and for that reason it was kind of a slow read because a lot of it is her finding out about the world and deciding if this is something she wants to do or not. So it wasn't that action-packed until later on in the book. I will say though, I did enjoy it a lot. I ended up giving it a 3.5 out of 5 stars, which may seem like not a super high rating, but I did actually quite enjoy it. It was just because it was kind of slow and definitely an introduction to the series. I mean, obviously it's the first book, but you know what I mean. So because of that, I only gave it a 3.5 out of 5 stars, but I do, I am really intrigued and I do already own the second book, so I do think that I will read it soon and hopefully it will be better because it's already got the setup done. I did enjoy it and I will continue on with the series. So a success, I think. And another reason why I didn't read a lot during the month is because I was trying to read a book, which I'm just really struggling with, but I really am determined to finish it. But that book is Into the Perfect Place by Alexandra Cristo. I read half of this book last month and 
I just can't get into it. I don't know why. I thought it was because of everything going on, but then I put it down and I started over from the beginning and I still can't get into it. And I can read now. I'm over my little reading slump. So I don't know why, but I just don't like this book very much. And I'm so sad because I loved her first book, but I'm gonna see how it goes. I still have quite a bit left. I actually ended up picking up the audiobook. So yeah, I'm gonna finish it on audio and see how it goes. I'll talk about this in my April wrap up when I will have finished it, I swear. But anyway, so those were the two books that I read in the month. So please let me know what you guys read down below. I would love to know if you have any recommendations or anything, or if there's a book you read that you really didn't like. I always, I love the tea, what can I say? But yes, that is all that I have for today's video. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give a thumbs up. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe down below and I'll have another video up for you soon. So I will see you then. Bye.